we talk about Presidents Jefferson and Lincoln and others, Dr. King, like those great men, also affected history. Harry Johnson is head of the Martin Luther King Memorial Project. In November, his group will start building the first monument to a man of color on the National Mall. Where is the memorial going to be? We're excited that we have four acres of prime real estate. Dr. King himself will be looking over at the Jefferson Memorial near the cherry blossoms. It's been a long journey. President Clinton signed legislation authorizing the memorial back in 1998. Then the foundation went to work raising money. $53 million so far, all but $10 million from corporations and individuals. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. They need to raise $13 million more before they can break ground. And can you make that $13 million we more? We can make that $13 million more without question. Spoken like a fundraiser. Well, well I'm happy to be one. <laughs> What's remarkable is that the group has raised so much money when many people don't even know about the project. They plan to run ads to raise public awareness. And just as Dr. King had a dream, so do we, to make this memorial a reality. If all this sounds like a slow process, the King Memorial is actually moving fast. FDR, from uh, concept to completion, 45 years. WW2, about 12 years. So we're excited that we are really getting ready to hit our 10-year mark when we want to have this thing completed in 2008. Seven years ago, they had an international competition to come up with a design. There were 1,900 entries. Johnson showed us the winner. This is the model of the Martin Luther King Memorial. It will be set on the tidal basin across from the Jefferson Memorial. You'll walk through two granite boulders called the Mountain of Despair. Then you'll see a long curved wall where you can read passages from Dr. King's writings and speeches through a stream of water. The highlight, the Stone of Hope a 25-foot-tall piece of granite with King's likeness carved into it. So people walk through the mountain of despair, and yet here he is, a stone of hope for the future. And I've seen the promised land. Dr. King's fraternity, Alpha Phi Alpha, has led this project. Johnson, who's a Texas lawyer, now spends half his time in Washington, engaged in what he calls building the dream. Dr. King, just like President Kennedy and others at the time, stood for hope for African Americans. And when he was assassinated, sometime, some kind of way that ray of hope was dimmed, but not put out. I believe that having this memorial on the mall basically lights that ray of hope again for others to come. Brother, 